Moloeni Sambonani Dumelang and welcome to another episode of Ubuntu, the show to inspire and explore South African culture. My name is Nancy Sukhukwane and we're going to be traveling around the mother city getting to know the culture. I'm of course talking about Cape Town. We're going to be jamming it out, listening to music, eating. It's going to be a great time guys. So Arring, let's go. We are here outside our first destination on our trip around the mother city where we're going to be entering this shop over here owned by my man Manan who's going to be giving us a fat chat about everything to do with djembe drums. Let's hit it up. Hello, my man. It's so lovely to meet you. Nice meeting you too. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm so. I'm great. Thank you. Your store is so beautiful. Yeah, good to have you here. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so you said you own the store with your four brothers. Yeah. Okay, so when did when did you create it? When did you start up the shop? Yeah, actually, we are in this business for quite long, and uh, you know, as I was saying, my other brother. So we're always looking for the destination where they can suit us because kind of work we do. We do music. We create stuff to make bags, like uh, technical skills. We have all different angles. We put things together, bringing stuff from West Africa fabrics and changes and make a, like a woman a tourist where the tourist can just have an interest in to get something unique from us. So yeah. Yes, and I've been seeing you've been having a lot of business, people coming in and out. There's so many things that a person can buy here. Yeah. When absolutely. did you decide to why did you decide to um set up shop in Cape Town? Yeah, obviously, you know, okay I'm origin from Ghana, as with my brothers, oh. you know, so uh, Ghana is a land of culture as well. Yes. Yeah, so we have a unique things. Everybody has its own way. We do music, we create to make drums, as I was explaining, bags and other things. So when we came here, we see like a tourist coming here much. And also, we just bring our experience out there so that we can improvise it to other people who need it. Also to learn at the same time what is going on in South Africa. So you are well equipped in playing the drums, making the drums, doing the whole thing? Yeah, that in drum is my life because drum make me who I am because I'm always doing it. I think Cape Town, everybody knows me and out of the country. They know what I'm doing. Oh, you're popular, eh? Sure. Well, I wish. Ah, you <laughs> are, Jim, no. Can you please tell us what this is? Like I. I know that this is a drum, but what's going on here? Yeah, okay. I just basically, you know, this called I just uh, you know, Jembi drum. The real name is Jembi. Jembi. Yeah. So Jembi, and then we make this one. It's a bit a chick, so that when you put there, when you play as a tradition, it gives you extra sound. Okay. Because everything made by hand, so we don't use the uh, westernized stuff, you know, on it. So make sure everything you do in Jembi made by hand. How long does it take to make a drum like this? Well, uh, to get the, the lock or the tree from the forest, maybe it will take you time to cut the tree down. So when you get a big tree down, you need to see the size of drum you want to make. Because we have 20 face drum, and then we, make, we have 14 face, 15 face, so actually this 13 face drum. So it depends the sizes. Some like to play 12 face, 13, 14 drawing. So when you get the size of your wood, so now you know, okay, this is the diameter of the face of Titan. So you try to use your chisels and hammer or the sharp knife. So you try to dig in. So when you get the wood, now everything is locked. You know to get the ring. It really is just a learning experience for all of us. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Your store is beautiful. I hope you really get all the business in the world. Thank you. It's been lovely talking to you.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who just tuned in with us right now, you are watching Ubuntu, and my name is Nancy Sokokwane. As you can see, it's nightfall here at the Palms in Woodstock, and that's because we just spent the entire day playing and making these lovely djembe drums over at the Green Square Market. But now we're going to be playing and having a lovely African beat drum session. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so ready to jam it out with the locals. You be too. As I walked into the drumming circle, I could feel the great vibe already happening. David, the leader of the drumming circle, kindly invited me to join in to play. Every Thursday, David and his friends meet here in Woodstock to play. I think the best part was that I noticed different people of different ages and races, all together, smiling and enjoying each other's company. <laughs> I've never drummed in my life before, and I think David noticed that. So he decided to teach me the basics. I was so excited to begin. Now that I've learned the bass, we will now be moving on to the tone. So far, I've been learning the bass and the tone, but separately. Now, we will be playing both at the same time, bass and tone.
Well, guys, it's been great over on these sides. My heart is literally beating to the beat of the drums, literally. But as you can see, it's cold and gilambile. So we're going to head out to the Gold Restaurant for some live performance and cultural food. Mm -mm -mm. I'm ready. Let's go. You look back at your life. You see everything falling apart. You want to go far. But, wait a minute. We will bring back colors into your life. This holiday. One of the most beautiful town in the world. Cape Town. A destination for you. just arrived here at the gold restaurant if you'd see this place it's absolutely amazing it's beautiful it's teeming with culture and the smell hmm, it's getting to me so let's go guys I'm hungry la soirée, enfin, beaucoup, parce que euh, je trouve ça grave bien de mélanger euh, un resto, enfin, tu manges et entre chaque euh, repas, par exemple l'entrée, le plat et le dessert, il y a un spectacle genre, voilà. et on peut interagir avec les danseurs et, et les chanteurs. Alors, on a fait du GMB. Euh, moi j'ai beaucoup aimé aussi euh, l'esprit et euh, l'ambiance du restaurant parce que euh, c'était un esprit hyper traditionnel et on a pu vraiment découvrir euh, comment ils mangeaient, comment, euh, ce qu'ils mangeaient, comment ils dansaient, comment ils chantaient, leur instrument, enfin, leur manière de vivre. Il n'y avait aucun moment où on s'ennuyait, où euh, on avait toujours quelque chose à faire, ou à regarder ou, ou à goûter. So guys, I don't know if you can hear the amazing music in the background, but that's another performance that's going on here. I just come from watching one and I am absolutely famished, so I'm about to dig in. This is a combination of the starter and the main course. So this over here is a Zanzibar soup. We've got some fish, fish plate, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot actually on the menu. These are ostrich samosas. I've never had that in my life, so I'm ready for that. And Ethiopian Eap. So I'm just gonna dig in. I hope you guys are having something that side because I know I'm gonna be eating here. the flavors I don't even know what they put in this but it's so rich I feel like they made it like two minutes ago I don't even know but oh ostrich samosa you don't just find this at any store mm. this is a fish I'm gonna dip it in something 
the opportunity of speaking with these lovely ladies over here who've been so busy tonight guys is it always this busy oh yeah it is is it yeah so from monday to sunday you can hey you'll find this place pumping mm -hmm. oh yes. yes so are you guys enjoying your work what exactly is it that you do at the gold restaurant oh uh, we're waitress at go restaurant go restaurant is a unique place so it's a place to come, it's a place to be. So people want to come and see Go Restaurant. They'll be hearing about Go Restaurant, so they'll want to join us to experience Africa. Thank you, by the way, for doing my place, <laughs> oh, great ladies. I feel you. great, I feel yeah. like a queen. Oh. Yes, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for having a chat with us. It was a quick chat, but I know you're busy, ladies. Oh. Okay, guys, let's take a Thank look at you. the rest of the performances. It's been great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. C'est très envoûtant, euh, surtout par rapport au rythme, ça nous entraîne euh, dans quelque chose qui est dynamique. Euh, donc du coup on a essayé le djembe, donc c'est pas mal mais ça fait, ça fait très mal aux mains, au bout d'un certain temps. Mais on s'y habitue. Après moi j'ai regardé un peu comment il faisait et euh, il, il tapait plutôt sur les palons un peu. So guys, I'm having a chat here with my man Trezor. You are the bartender slash lighting man. Something like that. Something, hey, he's highly qualified, <laughs> that's all I know. So how do you find working here at the Gold Restaurant? I'm fine. I found here like uh, it's a special place because uh, every day when you are here, you find yourself in another level. So you grab energy each and every day. I noticed that a lot of people from different places come here. People are speaking French and Italian. And is that always the case? Yes, we get people from all over the world. So you can clearly see that this is the place to be when exploring South African culture. My man, yeah. thank you for having a chat with us. Thank you very much. Let's go. Wow. Let's <laughs> both go. Well guys, I hope you had as much fun as I did on this week's episode of Ubuntu. There was singing, there was dancing, we made the drums, we played the drums, we didn't make the food but we sure as hell did eat it. I think we can all agree that today was a success in exploring South African culture. If you feel like you miss out on anything, you can catch out the footage behind the scenes at www.ubuntu.co.za and you can catch us out on social media at hashtag UB2. It's been great guys but I'm heading out, it's been so much fun. Fun. You are watching Ubuntu and I'm Nancy Sikhobane signing out.